In this video, we're going to take a look at the polygon modeling method to create the fan blades. All right, so you've heard me talk about the box modeling method. Now, box modeling is very simple. It's just starting out with a standard primitive object and then getting the base form of that, adding segments to it, and you're building up to what you want. Now, with polygon modeling, it allows us to control topology and we start out with just a single polygon and begin extruding the edges to create new polygons. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that's done. Let's go to our top view by hitting T on the keyboard and what I want to do is I want to select everything in my scene and I'm going to right click and hide my selection. So that way I'm just looking at the propellers. Now the propellers have a very distinct shape. Let's go to our Create panel and Geometry, and let's go to Plane. This will allow you to create a plane object or a single polygon. So what I'm going to do, let me turn off Auto Grid, and let's left click and drag out a plane that's pretty close to being square. Now you'll notice that I have four length and width segments. Let's turn those down to one. Now if you've already clicked off of the polygon, like right clicking and uh, stopping the creation process, you can go to the Modify panel and do the same thing. So with this set, let's right click and convert it over to Editable Poly. What I want to do now is I just want to get the base shape of this uh, propeller or this fan blade. So let's go to Vertex Mode and let's hit Alt X so we can see this. And I'm just going to move these vertices into place to get started. So I'm going to move that up. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it down. And actually what I want to do is I want to take all of these. And I'm going to pull this down like this. And we'll get this rough shape. Now what I need to do is I need to get this last part right here. So to do this, I'm going to go to Edge Mode. I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to hold down Shift and then drag that to the left. What I've done is I've extruded the edge to create a new polygon. This can be very helpful whenever you're doing modeling like for characters. So with characters we have a very specific topology pattern that is needed. Like you need loops around the eyes and around the mouth and uh, that will allow the face to deform and to talk and to move properly. Um, and normally with character heads, that's the way that I model. I don't use a box modeling method for head modeling. So let's go to vertex mode and let's make the adjustments to our vertices here. And let me pull this up and let me put this into position right there. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that these two vertices are in line with one another. So I'm going to use make planar and let's do the X direction so that way it makes it perfectly straight up and down. Now what I want to do is I want to start creating the edge segments that I need to get the shape. So looking at this in a different view, you can see that the front part of that actually comes down and it has kind of this flat top to it. And so what I need to do is I need to create a segment that goes right through the middle of that. So to do this I'm going to go to the modeling ribbon and if you don't have this activated, come up here and turn on the ribbon. So toggle that on. Go to Modeling, and then we're going to go to Edit and Swift Loop. This will allow me to create an edge very quickly um, where I need it. So let's go ahead and left click there. That's going to put it right in the center. And then all I have to do at this point is go ahead and grab these vertices right across the front, and then go to my front view and I'll pull that down. Now looking at this really quickly, that's not in the position that I need it. So before we pull those vertices, let's turn vertex mode off and drag that up. And what I want to do is I want to drag it up to where it's, um, let's say right about the center of the width of that. So you can see it's going straight across there. Now let's go back to polygon mode and let me actually grab these first. Let's drag those down to get that angle right there. And then we'll go back to our top view, select this vertex and this vertex. Let's go to our front view. And then what we'll do is we'll drag those down. So I'm going to drag this down first. 
and you'll see that this one came down much further. So let's go ahead and pull that up, and then let's actually pull it to the left a little bit. So now we have the propeller. Let me back up a little bit so we can see this. We have the propeller shape that we need here. Now, whenever we start modeling, you'll notice that this piece right here uh, was left behind. What I want to do is I do want to go ahead and pull that down into position. So let's go to our back view by hitting V and then K, and it shows me exactly where that vertex should be. So I'm going to pull that down right into this position here. And it looks like maybe the one right here, let's go to our front view by hitting F, that looks like it might need to come up just a little bit. So it's going to have just kind of a slight curve in there. So now that we have this piece all ready to go, um, one thing that you will notice is that we have this really distinct line in between here. Remember in the first module we talked about invisible edges, that a quad is actually made up of two triangles. And what can happen is we can start getting these little bites out of this. And it can make the object look a little odd. Now we're in we're going to be smoothing this so this really isn't that big of a deal but if you come across this I want you to be able to know how to fix it so to fix this we're going to use the tool called turn so if I go down uh, let's go to edge mode because it's only available there here you'll see turn if I activate that it will show me my invisible edges and so it makes sense now that why that is making a bite out of that polygon if I were to left click on that edge it is now a little bit better so now I don't have to worry about that quite so much so that looks good so let, uh, let's go ahead and turn that off and now we have this propeller but we really only have one side of the propeller we need to create thickness for this so to create thickness we can um, go ahead and use a modifier called shell so let's type in sh and you'll find shell in that list and notice that that automatically creates geometry uh, for both sides so I can adjust the outer amount or the inner amount so if I go to my front view if I hit alt X you'll notice that it's remember we created that first plane it was right in the center there and what it's doing is it's raising it up off of that a little too high I can see the top of my reference image here so what I want to do is I actually want to take this down to 0.5 on the outer amount. And then I'm going to take the inner amount to 0.5 as well. And you'll notice that it evens that out. So we have an extrusion or a thickness of 1. We're just making the adjustment in both directions. Now you can add segments to this if you want to cut that in half. I don't necessarily want to do that, so I'm going to leave it at this 1. You could also bevel edges, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. Uh, it's just not needed at this time. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's just not needed at this time. So now we have our geometry. We have the propeller started. And let's go ahead and unhide by right-clicking and going to unhide all. And now we have our propeller and we have the shaft, but they're not together. So how do we model them together? Well, let's go ahead and talk about how to do that in our next lesson.